Hey guys, this is Clint Jeff from AnishThePhones.com and here's a quick video review of the much anticipated Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, this is a massive phone. It looks much like a massive Samsung Galaxy S3 and that's why I have this phone right here so that you can see how big it is. Um, you can actually fit a Samsung Galaxy S2 right in there. It's that big. <laughs> um, so yeah, it is a massive phone. Um, when I reviewed the first Galaxy Note, I wasn't very impressed with it because I thought it was really huge and not going to catch on. But damn, it catched on. Caught on is the word I'm looking for. Um, so it, everybody um, knows how popular the Galaxy Note is. Um, I know a lot of people who were considering getting an iPhone and got the Galaxy Note because they thought that, hey, you know, you're getting a tablet and a phone in the same form factor, why not? Um, so, the Galaxy Note 2 is the sequel to the original Note. It has a bigger design, I guess, um, slightly similar to the Galaxy S3. It has the same ergonomic uh, Galaxy S Pen or S Pen, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, it's thicker and longer compared to the uh, original Galaxy Note S Pen and um, it's uh, got a couple key features which I'll talk about later in the uh, review video but for now um, let's talk about the Galaxy Note 2. It is uh, thinner and narrower than the previous Galaxy Note. Um, it has a quad-core processor which is the same as the Galaxy S3 but it's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz um, which means it's a lot faster. It has 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of memory, with a micro SD card slot underneath. Um, there's also 32 GB and 64 GB uh, models as well. At the front you have this massive 5.5 inch screen which is what really takes your focus away. It's the same weight uh, but it's not as wide as the Galaxy Note uh, original. The screen is a lot larger though. Um, so it's nice to see what Samsung has done. Um, it's still huge to use though. I mean, look at that. That's my, that's my hand and it is massive to hold and use and um, even put up against your face. It does look a little weird when you're on a call but I guess um, that's the price you pay if you want a huge phone. Um, it has rounded corners like the Galaxy S3 which makes it easier to hold and easier to use. It has the same plastic and the same color as the Galaxy S3 as well. Um, but it is a little bit slippery to hold uh, so excuse me if I slip and drop this a couple times during this video. I hope I don't though. But um, yeah, at the back you have an 8 megapixel camera with a single LED flash. Um, and under the panel right here that I'm going to try and open up for you, you have the uh, 3100 mAh battery, uh, space for the SIM card, and the micro SD card slot. And the um, the back cover is a little flimsy, plasticish, typical Samsung, I guess. Um, so hopefully. It will stand the test of time. Um, don't have much confidence in that, but there you go. Just trying to get it closed. Okay, so um, so yeah, what really takes your breath away with this thing is the front, because you have that huge 5.5 inch screen. You have a very thin bezel around it, and you have um, a 16.9 ratio, uh, 1280 by 720 pixel resolution. Super AMOLED HD bright screen. <laughs> um, it's really nice. The colors are very nicely saturated, as you can see, um, and the viewing angles are also really good. I'm just going to quickly show you an image just so that I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, as you can see, it is quite beautiful. Um, the visibility outdoors is also pretty good. Um, it has very high reflectivity, so it uh, low reflectivity. Sorry, so it does work in its favor outdoors as well um, and like I said this color is saturated and uh, nice-ish I guess it's a typical AMOLED thing so you might either hate it or like it but I think this is the best screen I've seen to date um, at the front you also have the home screen right there sorry the home key right there flanked on either side by a back key and an Android edit key um, Samsung really likes the 
hardware home key thing so I don't think that's going to change for a while at the top you have the centrally located uh, earpiece and if you can just see a front facing camera ambient light sensor and proximity sensor as well uh, typical of a touchscreen nowadays um, so yeah uh, what I really like about this phone though apart from the massive screen is that it runs Android 4.0 Jelly Bean which is very rare nowadays um, right there uh, so it is nice to see it on a phone that's actually released it uh, Samsung has their TouchWiz UI on top which does some nice things I guess um, it has a bunch of functionality built in like for example if you were to take the stylus out and um, walk away uh, it would actually beep and let you know that hey you forgot to put the stylus back in it also shows you this new home screen whenever you take the stylus out um, which has quick access to a, to S node and a couple other things um, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean also has a couple nice things like um, I'm just gonna quickly show you uh, uh, Google Now which is really useful f at least for me um, it it learns about you the more you use it I've been using it for a week now so it has still got to learn a little bit more stuff about me but if you have a schedule and you save things in the calendar for example it'll learn about you and uh, recommend stuff to you it, it is by far the coolest thing about Android 4.1 Jelly Bean um, I'm just gonna quickly run the quadrant score as well so that you can see just how fast and amazing this thing is I'm just gonna keep this down here so let it do its thing um, so how are you guys doing <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for that to finish. It's gonna take a little while. Um, let's talk about the S Pen. It has a little button right there that does stuff. I'm gonna show you that in a little while, but it is quite nice. Um, you can actually use it as a proper pen when writing, and I, I noticed that um, I can actually write a lot better on the Galaxy Note 2 compared to the Note 1, thanks to the much longer. So, yeah, that's the quadrant score. It is an uh, impressive 5840 compared to the other devices. It's massive. Um, so, yeah, the quadrant scores are amazing as well. I'm just going to quickly show you a little bit more about the, um, the stylus. Um, there's S Note, which is a really nice thing over there that you can just start up right from there um, it'll quickly give you a little tip over there but you can also tap on a new note and create a new note if you want to which is uh, usually quite nice there's also this nice little air view thing that you can see right there where you can hover the um, stylus over each icon to know what it does um, or you can just press and hold on one to change the color uh, or the size for example or the type of brush and then you can just um, do stuff so uh, yeah that is kinda cool I guess um, I don't know how often you will really use a stylus uh, but there is a lot of functionality built in which is very cool um, this is just one of the many things that you can do uh, you can also for example I'm just gonna close this um, uh, there's also air view which is one of my favorite things we can just hover over and I can to know what is inside you can also do this in the album uh, as well and right here there's a bunch of the recommended shortcuts that pop up when you um, open the uh, stylus the handwriting recognition actually works pretty well um, just to quickly show you I'm gonna try and really badly write unleash the phones Oh, that didn't work. I'm just gonna backspace a little bit and see if it works one more time. Hey, there you go. So, uh, yeah, handwriting recognition actually works pretty well. Um, there's also a couple of nice bits of functionality. For example, you can draw, whoop, um, you can press and hold the little thing right there and then draw a section on, a, on the browser like this or that if this works oh no yep there it goes and uh, you can actually email this section to um, a clipboard or you can email it or you can use it for something else uh, it's actually pretty cool I'm just gonna quickly demo it again because it didn't work very well the last time right there and send that to S note and open it up in S note and then do stuff with it I guess um, so I don't know how useful that would be, but yeah.
Um, the browser, just to mention, the browser is really fast and really nice. It's a joy to use. Um, there's no flash support in Jelly Bean, unfortunately, but you can uh, pretty much do almost everything you'd want with it. Um, there's also, uh, whoops, I'm just going to go back to, yeah, uh, there's also um, the ability to install Chrome if you want, um, which works a lot better in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, the S Pen is quite nice. The outline and cut screen is a little slow but I'm not sure how useful that functionality is going to be but it is useful to annotate stuff from the internet if you want uh, I'm just going to put this back in here um, coming to video you have a nice video player uh, built in which can pretty much play almost anything you throw at it uh, I'm just going to play this which is yikes the wonders of nature video that Samsung has put in And as you can see, the video actually looks quite nice. And there's also the uh, pop-up play functionality where you can play it at any time. And you can also close it from any screen now, which was not possible on the Galaxy S3. Um, so yeah, that is nice. It has a lot of fun functionality. And the video player really plays anything you can throw at it. as DivX and XFit support as well. Um, just to quickly show you the camera, you have an 8 megapixel camera, as I mentioned before, which has some pretty nice results. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different features that you can tweak. Um, there are different effects. There's even an HDR mode built in, or you can take stuff in vintage modes. Um, they are pretty cool. And um, there's also shortcuts to them right here you can also turn flash on or off and uh, there's also the edit button which brings up a bunch of shortcuts and similarly for video oops I was in the video screen all this while similarly for uh, images you also have um, various scene modes and an HDR mode right there um, and flipping between them works really quickly of course you can record in 1080p video and it's very smooth and fast as well um, so yeah really impressed with the camera as well the images have a lot of detail to them the colors are saturated again um, and there's very low noise so it is impressive it is what you expect out of a phone at this cost um, video is also very fluid and detailed and there's continuous autofocus and touch to focus as well um, so yeah kind of impressed the sound quality recording though is a little bit of an issue um, for me maybe I'm just too used to uh, the pure view but it does take a little I don't know there's a lot of uh, background noise captured I've noticed um, so yeah just to round up stuff this is a long video but the Galaxy Note 2 is a large phone to use but you already know that if you're considering getting this phone um, the large size might be an issue for some people um, I've noticed that a lot of people don't mind the large size though um, it is uh, larger than the original but the larger screen also means it's a lot more um, useful for dialing out stuff um, the weight is still a little heavy but it is um, narrower than the original Galaxy Note um, the battery life is amazing it lasts 20, a full day very easily the stylus can be useful to you if you can think of scenarios where you'll use it um, it has a lot of functions and tricks like I said and TouchWiz UI also has a lot of stuff uh, built in I've only touched upon a couple of them but there's also SOS which I literally um, never use but hey if you need it there you go. Um, and the camera is also pretty good. The loudspeaker is very loud. Um, and it runs Android Jelly Bean out of the box. So, very impressive phone. Um, the only con I can think of is the fact that it, it um, the build quality is a little bit flimsy-ish. Um, it is a Samsung phone after all. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. The only competition it has is the LG Optimus VU, which is a little bit squarish in my opinion, so I don't like it quite as much. But, uh, hey, don't just take my word for it. Check out our detailed review over at unleashthephones.com. And if you have any questions at all, let me know over in the comment section below.